coup. Hi, good morning. Today is my last day at uni. It's bizarre. I've been having the most weird mixed feelings over the last few days. It's all gonna come to a head today. The only thing I've done so far today is had breakfast. I had my coffee, crumpets, and my Magic Mind combination. It's this productivity shop and it's matcha and a bunch of nootropics. It's amazing. And for a long day like today, it's perfect to make sure that I'm well energized throughout this very, very, very busy day. I really recommend trying it out and I have a discount code if you're interested. It's Chloe Hunkin 20 or use the link in my description and you can get up to 56% off your first subscription. Also, so, I mean, of course I did this. Like, I'm not even gonna shy away from it. I planned my outfit the night before. Well, I say planned. I've got a bunch of options. I've thrown them up on here so that I can try them on, just see how I'm feeling. This is everything I still have to do before I leave. I leave in, uh, I think like half an hour. It's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna do like a cute little transition, okay? I'm gonna be dressed, outfit of the day, ready in three, two, one. That maybe looks awful, but alas, here we are. I'm wearing a leather jacket with a zip up hoodie underneath. This is the plan. I'm gonna wear just the zip up to the club later because I don't really wanna bring a jacket. I can take this off, wrap it around my bag and then sort it golden. Warm on the walk, but free to party. Then I'm wearing this little tank top and oh, I need to put my jewellery. Oh my god, I always, oh my god. Honestly, the number of times I've left the house with like one ring on because I've gotten distracted in the middle of putting three rings on. It's pretty insane. I'm gonna wear these chunky guys today because I feel like they, I mean, if they get lost, like I will, uh, I'll spontaneously combust, but they are so cool. I'm gonna wear the same necklace I wear every single day, which is matching with my bay. I've gotta represent. And then the same three rings as well. I was like honestly debating wearing sunglasses, but I think it's only sunny in London right now. For those who don't know, I live in London, but I go to Bristol. So that's why this is my last day. Like that's why it's so early. It's a long story there. If you're interested, I feel like I've talked about it a lot in my channel. So have a scroll. Cool, I am. Iced out. I feel like if I pull up to Bristol wearing these, I might look like so obnoxious. Like I'll look like I think I'm a celebrity and that can't pass. So I think I'll just stick to my bare face. Okay, I'm pretty much done. The last thing I need to do is quickly pack up my stuff and then I'm out. I can't wait to see what I get up to. I got a new bag. Isn't she gorgeous? I realized on the train on the way to my first seminar that I didn't know where it was and I was googling around trying to figure out where it was. I ended up having to email my personal tutor to ask where the hell this room was and I felt like a fresher again. Full circle moment kind of I guess. It was in the geographical science building. I do law. I've never had to know where that is so and that's fair enough for me I think. I got to my seminar an hour late. It's a two hour seminar. But to be honest, the content, I don't know whether I'm jinxing it, but I've been getting it in trusts. At the moment we're doing the remedies for breaches of trust by trustees and third parties and all that kind of stuff. So some of it's quite straightforward. So really missing very much the I wasn't too worried about missing it. I obviously would have liked to have been there, but it is what it is. I run into my next seminar. I had my criminology seminar directly after. It became really, really lovely and sunny. Will's looked so, so pretty. Thank you.
It's my first criminology seminar of the entire year. My first and last. We were talking about prison abolition, which is so helpful because that is quite a lot of what my diss is about. The discussion was really fun. The seminar leader as well, he's so funny and everyone there was so nice. It was just, yeah, it was a good time. And also the guy ended the seminar with a cute little inspirational quote. He was like, love everyone. And that will like solve so many problems that we have in society. And I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna leave university on any kind of note, that is a positive one. I then walked over to Big Sainsbury's, which was such a throwback. I met Evan and we did a little shop to get some food for dinner. This is probably my favorite light in Bristol. Oh. We made dinner with his housemate Nikhil and that was very fun, very wholesome, the whole thing. I mean, we just chuck things in the pan. Just yeah, 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 just... Yeah. Nikhil, did you know that Chloe's the number two influencer, no. student influencer in Bristol? Number two! Look, for a size comparison, yeah. compared to your the massive lion. head, how big is the little red pepper? Yeah, this is normal size, my head's just this big. Yeah. Does it look good? Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, I love it. No, the, the gram, the gram. The tube's gonna love it. Hi. This is the situation. I'm topping up my makeup because I'm about to go to the club right now. I'm looking a bit rough. I've had a day of seminars and all that kind of stuff. So it's like school air, you know, but uni air. Although my journey looked super pleasant, it looked kind of cute. The first part of my journey actually was really smooth. I got to Paddington. I was waiting there for like literally half an hour. I don't know why I got there so early. I mean, I'd rather be waiting than be late, which is funny because <sighs> so I get there so early. I'm waiting for my train. I get a meal deal. Hello. Hello. Yeah, you can come into your own room. Hello. We're gonna run corner shop real quick and then we'll be back in like- If you see any tennies there that you think I'd like, could you please well, buy? Okay. Thank you. Okay, wait, this is just not the order of my makeup, whatever. Okay, we're doing it. So yes, in the train, it looks so pretty outside. I'm a big fan of going on trains and seeing the world go by. Like I think it always looks so good. Okay, Chloe. The English countryside always looks gorgeous from a train. I got a bit of work done on the first train as well. I'd prepared for the seminar, but I feel like revising it, keeping it fresh in my head. That's never a waste of time. I was really surprised because I'm usually not that good at working on transport. It's something about the lulling. I get travel sick when I work and not travel sick otherwise. Maybe it's just my body telling me that I don't want to work, I don't know. But I actually managed to get quite a lot done, which set the tone of my journey up really nicely. And I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be a really smooth journey. I'm gonna get so much done. On that same train, I went to use a bathroom. I don't know if you've ever been in a train bathroom. I don't recommend. I feel like scientists need to study train bathrooms because they must harbor bacteria like nothing else. In the process, my AirPod fell out of my ear and fell onto the floor. It was on the floor for all of one second. I cleaned it off, I put it in my ear, and I started getting worried. I don't want like literally brain worms from the floor of a Great Western Railway service bathroom. Like, good God. That episode turned the traveling experience from really, really pleasant to sour. From that point on, it only got worse. I change up Bristol Parkway to then get the train to Temple Meads, right? And in doing so, we pull up. I see there's a train like waiting for me immediately. I'm like, okay, sick, I'll like, hop on it. It leaves just as I approach the train. I was like, okay, that's fine. Like they come pretty regularly. I waited like 25 minutes for it. You know, that's fine. It's not a dent in my journey. I got there quite early because I wanted to have a little bit of a shopping time. If I was gonna be late, it wouldn't matter because I would still be early for my seminar. It turns out that the train that I was waiting for had been delayed already for two and a half hours. That should have been warning signs for me that I wasn't gonna get anywhere on time. And then I get on the train. Bristol Parkway is like two stops away from Bristol Temple Meads. So I was like, this is gonna be fine. We are sat waiting for the train to move. Left the train driver because he'd obviously been delayed himself. He was saying like, you know, we were meant to be at Temple Meads two hours ago. I can only imagine how frustrated he was. Oh, hello. Can I come in? Yeah. Can I also come in? Of course. Can I also come in? Yeah, let me tell you guys, okay, I'm telling the vlog about my crazy train experience. I was sat on this train and I emailed my seminar leader and I was like, I don't know when I'm gonna be there. Like, I don't know what's happening. This is actually a boring story as I'm telling it. I'm realizing it's actually- <laughs> No, it's, it's really so boring. Really really can't be getting changed in the studio. Yeah, it's become a set. This is the set of, mm -hmm. of, the, of the best vlog in the world. I finally get off the train. I'm like, okay, amazing. <laughs> I'm, I'm only 10 minutes late at this point anyway. I get to the number eight bus stop. Yeah. The guy's just left, he's just pulled out. I'll like wave at him, yeah. I'm like, please stop. He goes, 
No. Oh my god. Okay, because there's a bunch of traffic as well. Yeah. So he's going around this loop and not moving. So I was like, okay, you know, like, fuck you. I'm gonna run to the next bus stop. He drives past me. Oh. Almost like there's like a fucking mission to just make sure I don't get on that bus. I walked up to like Cabot Circus mm. way. I wait like literally again, like 20 minutes for the bus to come. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. oh my god, it's really active in the kitchen right now. Yeah, I'm not it's very exciting. It's not, me. it's not? It's not a bit of me. This is fine. Three people. And whoever's watching. And, and the viewers. And the viewers at home. Come on in. Join. Come on in. Just fixing up my makeup. Hi there. I get on the bus. I am literally a full hour late. And then the rest of the day is fine. This but is it's just the traveling was pretty intense. This is good news. Yeah. Okay. Right. Are you ready for today's, today's t-shirt? Oh, that's good. Wait. Show. That's, that's, that's so mean. <laughs> I wait, think it's nice. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not good at Sorry, this. Wait, what do you think? Yeah, you look great. She said it's not looking good. <laughs> Slay. <laughs> Is this Oh yeah, I can't believe I forgot I ordered drinks. Uh, where are you? <laughs> wow, how you did they appear there? Drinks. We picked up Maddie, Lexi and Kai and had pre's at Evans before going out to Spoons where we met Philip. And that was the gang of the evening. Okay, you ready for this? I wanna lie. Now, if you're a Bristol student, you probably know if you're going clubbing anywhere south of the top of Park Street, Lexi's where you go. You stop off at Lexi's. They have some of the most bizarre drinks. I think Lexi's the only place you can get dragon soup. I've never seen it anywhere else. Actually, an unfortunate thing happened with a dragon soup. Kai and I saw a dragon soup flavour called Venom. Venom is a flavour, like that's kind of scary, but also very intriguing. So we got it. And I think I was having a sip of it and I spilled it all the way down my front. So the lovely, lovely white cardigan that I was wearing is now covered in dragon soup. Let me show you. Yeah, gorgeous. <sighs> we went clubbing at Thecla. Uh, go to Thecla all the time, particularly in first year. Thursday night was alternative music night, by which they meant Arctic Monkeys, and that was pretty much it. And then Saturdays was Pop Confessionals, which I'm a fool for Britney Spears, so I obviously, you know, really enjoyed that. But that was a Friday night, and it was techno. For some reason, I don't know if you can hear, but my voice is kind of gone. I don't know what I was singing to. When I was in Thecla, one of you guys came up to me, and it was so cute. We were in Thecla until we all decided we were really hungry for chips. Ready? <laughs> Okay, so no cameras. That was really special. Oh, guys. Okay, no pap, no pap, no pap. Motion of chips, please. Yes. Can I get burger sauce, please? One chip? Burger sauce, please. Thank you. Now, you'll notice in this clip that the guy that I'm filming puts like an ungodly amount of burger sauce on my chips. <laughs> it's like, bless him, you know, usually I'm down for that. I'm a bit of a sauce girl, I love sauce. I drown my stuff in sauce usually actually, but he really went hard. And so I had to throw a good third of it away because it was just soaking wet with burger sauce. We walked home, uh, had a little bit of sure afters. <laughs> <laughs> had the oh dragon suit, I'm scared. I was totally not there though. I mean, I was like physically there, but I wore sunglasses the whole time because my eyes were closed. So I wanted to be there physically, but I was just not, I was asleep. Let's be real. I was sleepwalking. I tapped out at like 5am, which 
I'm pretty impressed with myself. That is a solid six hours after my bedtime. And I woke up at seven. I woke up, got my stuff together, and then I walked around to where I used to live. I used to live there. Bizarre, bizarre times. And did my old route of walking from my house to uni. I mean, it was obviously nostalgic, but it was really bittersweet. I was listening to songs that I used to listen to a lot. I was allowing myself to wallow in that. I was like really feeding into it. It's not like I miss going to uni. Let's make that very clear. I had a really, really unpleasant experience last year. I think I was more nostalgic for the experience that I wish I had. After spending a lovely night with people that I just met, pretty much. Obviously, I mean, I knew a couple of them from before. The first time I met Philip was like a week into uni and we did a show together. It was my first ever show at university. And Evan, I met in my last ever show that I did at uni. So that's weird in its own little full circle way. And then the rest of them I'd met just that day and they were wonderful. They were so nice. They were honestly like, as a group, couldn't have been better. And that's the thing. I mean, it couldn't have really ended on a better note. It just made me feel like this is what could have been, you know? But it wasn't and it kind of is what it is. I walked over to Boston Tea Party. I got there quite early in the morning, so there was barely anyone there. I think I was one of two people on the entire floor. I ordered a vegan breakfast, a green juice, and a nice Americano, because God knows I needed it. I needed that nutrition. I needed to get my vitamins up. I popped into the shop that I wanted to go to the day before, but I didn't end up getting anything. I was almost gonna get two things, but then I realized I don't need anything. Like at the moment, I don't need anything. I'll wait a couple of months until it's fully summer and see whether I want it still, and then I'll get it. When I say it, it was a skirt. It was a gorgeous, gorgeous maxi green skirt. It was really, really pretty, but how many maxi green skirts can a girl have? I think more than one, it's a bit excessive, but if I'm still dreaming about it, then I'll get it. I'll indulge. And I got on the bus back to Temple Meads and then got on the train home. a genius i didn't realize but i booked it myself a table seat on the train though i like oh my god my eyes were shutting i was trying my absolute best not to fall asleep that said the first part of my journey i was being kicked repetitively in the shins by a little spanish boy that was sat opposite me he was like sat on his mum's lap and he just kept swinging his feet and kicking me and i didn't know what to say so i just let it happen they got off at the next stop so that ended but you know in its own special way it was the only thing keeping me awake the second I got in, I fell asleep. I think I fell asleep for like three or four hours, then woke up for one hour to eat, get ready for bed. And then I fell asleep for I think another 11 hours. Safe to say I've made up my sleep deficit. I got back yesterday. I was in no position to record anything. So here I am now. Just thinking about the whole trip, the whole experience. It couldn't have gone better. Actually, obviously, I mean, it could have gone better in terms of my traveling there. I could have gone to that extra hour of my first seminar. Aside from that, I wonder whether it set up a false narrative of what it would have been like had I actually been there the entire year. I had 
scheduled four hours of seminars and a really long night out and that obviously wouldn't have been every day. Also, I'm not actually finished. I mean, I'm done in terms of I don't have any more seminars, but I still have exam season. Like, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I don't have anything in person in uni anymore. So that was my last day at uni, if that makes sense. I don't know quite how I feel about ending on a high. You know what I mean? I don't want to think about the whole thing with the rose tinted glasses because that's not true. Regardless though, I'm really happy that I was able to document it and share it with you guys. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my last day as a University of Bristol law student. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Yeah. Mm -hmm.